Hey, good afternoon, everyone. How's everyone doing? Uh, today we're working on a 2015 Ford Escape with the 1.6 engine. Uh, it's got a six-speed automatic transmission, and what we're doing today is uh, we're gonna replace the filter, which I already did. But let me show you how we how we replace the filter on this transmission. Um, of course, you have to remove the transmission from the from the car. Uh, but we removed the bell housing. This is the bell housing. It's got uh, some 13 millimeter bolts all the way around, which you have to remove in order to remove this bell housing. Uh, so, and after that, you remove your baffle. This is the old baffle. It's going to be two eight millimeter, and you remove the baffle. I'm just gonna put this on the side. And then you have to remove your pump, uh, the transmission pump, which is hold on by three, seven, eight bolts, the 10 millimeter bolts. You know, I already removed the bolts. I already cleaned the bell house in two. I just wanna show you how I did it. Uh, you remove the bolts and then you pull the pump out. It's the only way you're gonna get to remove this filter and see that's your oil pump and just make sure you don't lose this uh, gasket right here and uh, just make sure you put it back in there otherwise your transmission is going to be leaking fluid and to remove your, your filter this is a new filter right here just twist it off and lift it Something like this. There you go. So you twist it right off. And this is the old filter. This is the new filter. So you can see uh, this filter is a little longer right here. It goes up to right here. The original filter, it's just got this tab right here. Uh, but this one, I got this from O'Reilly's, and this one has an extended tab right here, which is uh, it's gonna help you. It's a bigger filter, and it's gonna help you to last longer. Uh, this is the part number right here. FK408. Uh, you can get it at your local parts department. And that's interchangeable with the original four filter. Another thing that I did is uh, I removed this one was right here, and this came on the new filter. But I really don't like it, as you can see. Uh, the original filter, the O ring, is a little thicker. So I'm gonna discard this, and I'm gonna use my original O ring. It's still good. Uh, it's a little thicker and it fits better on my pump. Uh, that's the only downfall, but other than that, everything works out pretty good. I've done this a couple of times, and uh, it, it works out fine. I haven't had any issues. Uh, same thing when you're gonna put it on. Uh, just twist it on there. It's just twist right on. And also we, uh, this magnet right here, it was in here, so we took it off and clean it, and we're going to leave this magnet right here, the, that'll help catch all the uh, uh, metal, all the metal and all of the uh, uh, clutch material. So we're going to put this back on, and don't forget your uh, seal, this seal right here. And also when you take this apart, it's got some seals right here, and you don't want to lose the seal. Sometimes when you pull out the bell housing, they come right off. So just make sure that these seals are there, and this bearing right here. Sometimes it comes out with the bell housing, so make sure this bearing is here, and you should be okay. So we're going to put this pump back. We're going to put it back in place. This 
transmission was running. It's fine. It's just uh, it, it, it's not burnt up. It just needed some uh, maintenance. And this is the only way that we can do maintenance on it. We're going to put everything back together. Put all the bolts back together. Our filter sand, our seal sand. Notice that I'm using an impact, but this impact has not a lot of torque. The most I can get out of it is 20 pounds, and that's basically all you need to torque this. You don't need more than 20 pounds of pressure for the pump. And uh, the baffle, we're gonna put the baffle back on. I'll put this baffle back on. Same thing, you don't need as much torque. Not because you see me using an impact wrench. Like I said, this is a very low torque. Don't try to do it with a half inch impact because you're gonna damage your pump. So this impact uh, doesn't have much torque, 20 pounds, that's all you need. Don't try to do it with a half inch impact. And, you're gonna end up warping the pump. But that's pretty much it. Now what we're gonna do is gonna re we're gonna reseal it with silicone and put all the bolts back together. Um, it, it, it's kinda tricky trying to put it back together, but it, it's uh, cheaper. So don't, don't forget your differential. We had to remove the differential. Uh, don't forget this bearing. This bearing tends to fall off. Uh, so what I do, I'll just put a little bit of a assembly loop. Assembly loop. And then just hold it together. And uh, we're just going to put the differential in there. That's your differential. It's all in place. Uh, we pretty much drain all of the fluid out of there. And we drain in our converter too. If you can, if you want, I will recommend you to uh, replace this converter. You know, if you got the extra money, uh, replace it. Uh, these are the first, uh, one of the first thing that goes out on this transmission is the converter. Uh, this one's okay. Uh, I don't see no issues with it other, other than the uh, fluid being dark. But a lot of the times when they bath, uh, they get overheated and all around here, they're gonna turn blue, purple, or dark dark color. And that's a sign that your converter is burned up. And if that's the case, then you might wanna consider replacing your converter. But this one is good, it's still okay. Uh, so we're just gonna put it all back together. Uh, we're gonna reseal it. Uh, that's all we need to do. And then we're just gonna put the cover back on. But that's it for now, guys. If you have any questions, just put it down below. Um, if you like the video, you know what to do. Like and subscribe. And um, are we gonna put this back together? I might not film the whole thing because it's going to take a little while. Uh, just make sure your mating surface is clean. Make sure you take off the silicone off. We already cleaned ours, so we're just going to add the silicone and reseal it. But that's what it takes to replace your transmission fluid filter. 
Well, thank you very much for watching, guys. That's it.